Big boy trade coming in. We're gonna be trading out this. I don't get it. Ah, uh, just one second, one second. right here baby for what i'm hoping is a bonkers collection this switch trade right here was set up through craigslist so pray for me anyways let's hit it this might be the best nintendo switch oled trade i have ever completed or it just might be the standard double up see what i like to do when someone's sending me photos of a trade offer i do a quick scan to see if at the very least i'll be able to double up or at least push a little bit of profit let me know down in the comments if you guys also do the same thing i need a little bit of mystery and a little bit of what am i taking home today anyways i did a quick scan and i was actually able to pinpoint two or three games and a console that should be covering the cost of the old switch but let's chat for a sec i want to take a moment to thank everyone that's subscribed so far watching the videos commenting it's sick currently i believe we're at around 250 subscribers and it's actually growing which is because again i would never imagine having 250 subscribers on um, but yeah the guy's sitting around an hour east of the mountains over here so we got a bit of traveling to go he's waiting on me i think it's time to hit the road <laughs> Yes, Cody. Yeah, this looks great. Okay, well, I definitely appreciate it, guys. Oh, no, this is no awesome. Problem. Enjoy the games. Enjoy the Thank switch. you. Right. Thank okay. you so much, Cody. Thank you. Okay, so we just got done with this deal. These guys were sick. I am shaking. I'm gonna give you a quick sneak peek, but towards the end of the video, you're gonna wanna watch this because I'm gonna break it all down. But as you can see here, we have the legendary web browser 2.0. This is a sealed Sega Saturn Kobe on the cover Kobe. with the hang tab. It's not in the best shape. The seal's definitely worn. We're talking Resident Evil. I don't know what to say. Stick around. Cruising through Facebook Marketplace, a girl has listed three games for $10 each for the PS4. I decide to look one of these games up. Oh. It's going for 150 to 200 bucks a PS4 game? Wow. I'm flying on my way there right now. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. Stay tuned to see what this bolo is. Hello. Hey, sweet. Thank okay, you. Okay, sweet, thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Bingo Bongo just picked up those PS4 games and immediately hopped on Facebook Marketplace. Found an Xbox One S for 90 bucks. Doesn't have a controller, but 90 bucks is 90 bucks. Let's go. Good. There you are, it works just perfect. Okay, sweet, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Come on, Good job. Okay, so I just picked up the Xbox One S. I'm in a nice little parking space so I can show you. Xbox One S, all digital, no disk drive. Looks like they might have removed the warranty sticker. It's all good though, 90 bucks. I bet you it works totally fine. Now I bet you guys wanna see what game. Sorry about that. The big PS4 game that I picked up. So for $10 each or $30 total, I got The Evil Within, J Stars, which I haven't heard of this game. I think it pushes about 20, 30 bucks. Blue Reflection. This game pushes 100 to 150 bucks more. Looks like an interesting game. I think that's a pretty sick score for 30 bucks. Let me know down in the comments if you have a Bolo PS4 game that me and everyone else should be on the lookout for. Surprise me in the comments below. Okay, so we are back at the headquarters and I have been holding on to my excitement for a bit too long. Let's go ahead and lay out this OLED switch hall on the table and see what we got. So this is the game only portion of the trade. Save the system, of course, because the majority of these games right here are gonna be Sega Dreamcast. There's very few Sega Saturn games. So I wanted to showcase the system in this shot. Let's go ahead and start off with these less than $20 games right here. There is some notable titles in here. Web Browser 2.0, Fighting Force 2, Space Channel 5, a couple copies of Sega Marine Fishing, a lot of fishing games, Bash Fishing 2. We got Tomb Raider and of course, a couple copies of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. He also had a bunch of these Sega Dreamcast official magazine discs. So this is 
Maniac and Roll games right here are gonna be the $20 and up. A couple notable titles right here, Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver, Resident Evil Code Veronica, three copies of Sonic Adventure, House of the Dead 2, we got Dead or Alive right here, two copies of Evolution, and two copies of Shenmue. Again, everything here was secured by a Nintendo Switch OLED with the white Joy-Cons. I think he finally ended up with about five games. A Street Fighter, he finally grabbed a Zelda after I convinced him it was one of the best games. And then a couple puzzle games and of course Animal Crossing. So my total cost was a little over 500 bucks. Moving on, we have a sealed NBA Action 98 with Kobe on the cover for Sega Saturn right here with the hang tab. Taking a closer look, it is not in the best shape, no. But apparently a couple of these have pushed $1,000 in sealed condition. And there was also one that went for huh? under 100 bucks. So I'm not sure how much this is worth. Sick to see, staying in the collection for sure. Probably my favorite item in the entire trade right here. Moving on to the next row of games. These games sit around 75 bucks on average, give or take 10, 20. C-Man, which is worth a lot more if you have the microphone, of course. Resident Evil 2, Plasma Sword, Looney Tunes Space Race, the more notable titles, Sonic Shuffle, Evolution 2, Fantasy Star Online, Zombie Revenge, and check that out, baby. Capcom vs. SNK. Really cool to see this. All these discs right here I have checked, and they are surprisingly in very good condition. Beautiful. I was anticipating that most of these discs would be scratched beyond belief. Now, this is the scary awesome ending of this video game trade right here. Starting off, we have Capcom's Power Stone. This is the original one. Marvel vs. Capcom Clash of Superheroes. You know those two pair very well together. Third Strike Street Fighter 3, baby. My man had two copies of Power Stone 2. Sonic Adventures 2. The difference in price between Sonic Adventures, the original one, and Sonic Adventures 2 is tremendous. This game pushes some high cash. A deuce copy of Skies of Arcadia? Really, my man? Resident Evil 2 for Sega Dreamcast. Fully complete with both discs. Obviously, you know me, I collect for Resident Evil, so it's good to throw those into the collection. Even sicker to throw in Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Now look at the cost of this game right here. Shining the Holy Ark Sega Saturn game. One of the few Sega Saturn games that came in this lot. Last but certainly not least, it will be for the Dreamcast. This is a hardcore bloody game right here. This game tosses over 250 on the easily and has a potential of sitting at 300. If Kobe's NBA Action 98 doesn't steal the win for this one, Ill Bleed certainly does. I'm definitely gonna pop this in when I'm testing out the Dreamcast right here. One OEM green Dreamcast controller with a matching VMU, two OEM white controllers, and an aftermarket green controller as well with a couple VMUs on the side. I was honestly just so ecstatic when I picked all this stuff up and tossed it in the car. I was literally shaking, which I've only done a couple times in the past. Anyways, check out what consoles we got as well. So on top of the Dreamcast right here, we have an original Nintendo classic. All the controllers and cords are in this bin right here. We got one aftermarket and one original, which is always good to see. Next up, we have a big old Xbox that they don't think works, but usually when I come across Xboxes, it's just the disc drive that has a failure. This was really sick to find because I actually have a bunch of OEM Xbox controllers that I just picked up that I actually wanted to test out before I could sell any of them. Lastly, we have a Sega Saturn that has most definitely seen better days. This baby needs a nice little bath. I've only picked up a Sega Saturn once in my life before. I think their common issue lies with the laser or the internal battery. I know the Sega Dreamcast had that issue as well. But yeah, this baby's gonna need a nice little clean. Ooh, we got a nice. bonus disc here. Sonic 3D Blast that might need to get that dust blasted off. And this one actually came with a unique looking controller right here. And I think it pushes 50 bucks on the ease. Awesome lot, I'm extremely happy. So much work to do, a lot of cleaning to do, a lot of testing to do. So another tosser of an OLED trade switch in the books. 2022 has been strong so far. Trades like this make everything worth it. They make your day, they make your year. And I hope for you guys, seeing a trade like this brings some solid inspiration and a touch of motivation into your video game hunting life that it's all possible. If this video has done anything for you, hit that subscribe button, I appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next one.